Hey guys, we're here over at the storage booth or vMotion booth and we're going to dig a little bit deeper into what v uh, Steve Herrod also announced this morning is that we can now do vMotion off of VMs or off of hosts with VMs that are attached to local storage. So I've got Darren here with me and Darren, can you show me a little bit more about what this exactly means? Can you show the configuration and actually move a VM? Sure. So what we've got is we've got a connection into our VMware sales enablement lab. So what I'm going to do is we've got a virtual machine running here, running Suzy Linux. So if I look at here, I've got a console open. Okay, so we'll just go to the console. If I was to do any commands on the console here, let's do a simple ls minus l just to browse. So you see that we've got connectivity. I'll switch back over to the web client here. So with the new enhancement that Dr. Harrod talked about today, it's only going to be available if you use the web client. So if you're using the C-sharp client, you, know, you want to be starting to use the web client, we've got another booth for the web client, which is really good. So you'll notice on this virtual machine, if I scroll down, I'm just on the summary here, you'll notice that I've got connection to this local 01-DS, okay? So I'm running on ESX01 right now. Okay, so ESX01. If we go up to ESX01, okay, we'll go to the data store object, you'll see that this is actually running on a local data store. We're not smoking mirrors here. This is really a local, local virtual machine. Great. So now you should be able to vMotion this, something we were never able to do, uh, to another host, and we can still use the virtual machine? That's correct. We can now migrate live from local storage to local storage. So I'm back on the virtual machine here. We're simply going to right click. We're going to go migrate. Okay. So now when you got to migrate, now you see this other option here, the change host and data store. Okay, so this is where we're new here. We're going to do a next. Okay, we're going to do a, a compatibility test on our cluster. So we all succeeded there, so that's great. Now at this point, so again, we'll see that we're on ESX01. Right? So now I'm going to select ESX02. Okay, at this point, I'm going to go next. Okay, and as soon as I select ESX02, now I can see the data stores that are configured for this virtual machine. So I'm going to select another local data store. And you'll notice when I selected the data store, now you can start going into this, the virtual disk format as well. Okay, so we're going to leave it at the same format, which is good. We're going to do next. Okay, at this point now we're going to say, do you want to reserve optimal performance? Same thing we've done in the past. Yes, we want to do that, so we're going to do a next. Okay, review, everything looks good. Let's initiate that. So you'll notice over here, we're now starting to see that migration has happened. Okay, so if I go back to this console, okay, it takes about four minutes in our nested environment that we're doing, but if I do kind of LS, so an administrator continue working, doing whatever he wants to do, and that's going to continue running that workload. Perfect. And in the background, obviously, it's migrating all the storage. So it'll take a little bit longer than a traditional vMotion. But at least this is a great option for the SMBs to use vMotion in their limited storage environment, because they don't want to spend the, uh, the amounts of dollars for a central storage, possibly. And that, that's exactly it. What we're seeing today with all the customers I've been talking to, they're very pumped and excited about what this has to do with uh, especially the SMB market having this flexibility. And even enterprises are saying, you know, that's great, I got these VMs, I shut down once every three weeks, I got to shut it down to do a migration over to another host. They're just super pumped and excited about this feature, so it's really good. Perfect. Well, thank you very much. And for the viewers at home, I'd say definitely look into this feature because you can use vMotion anywhere you want now, and it doesn't really require the central storage anymore. So check this feature out.